Hello and welcome to Insights from Autistic. I'm Armand Kodai, a 24-year-old individual of high-function autism. Uh, today's video uh, is titled Benefits of Dating Someone with Autism. Uh, it is a companion video to dating, sex, and relationships. Uh, so if you've not seen that video, you can go and check it out afterwards. Uh, what I want to say about regards to dating is first, um, I would say that I've had, you know, um, one relationship where I felt a very strong connection. Uh, it did last six months, but it was a very wonderful relationship. I've been single for a little bit over a year now, but I'm going to be talking about what I believe are some of the good factors that, that if you're someone without autism or you are someone with autism, you're looking to date someone else with autism or or whatever, that this video will tell you some of the benefits that come with dating someone with autism and how to go about dating them. So, one of the first things I want to say is that one of the benefits is that people with autism tend to be very loyal. Uh, chances of them cheating or whatever I think is very slim, and I'm, and I'm not just saying this from my own self. I, I, I mean, I'm not too privy to other you know, pe individuals with autism's dating thing. I know a lot of people with autism have a very hard time dating, but, but from what I've seen, you know, once they meet that special someone, you know, their eyes don't go off in other directions like um, other people these days do, um, you know, most people with autism are not players. Um, and most of them are also very innocent in a way. And this is not just talking about the dating thing, but, but in general, they just have, have a very different way of seeing the rule. And, you know, I, I, and, you know, I've aware of how other people see it. I'm aware of the autism way, you know, from my own perspective and from other people with autism. And it's, it's beautiful in a way that you know how how it is, and that's another thing. Also, people with autism, very little drama. You know, they're not gonna play games and do blah blah blah, and and you know try to do whatever. You know, they're gonna you know they're gonna be upfront. they be like, I love you. You know, they're not gonna try to to do things to have you prove your love to them or anything like that. It's, I don't think that's something. Uh, I know I wouldn't do that, and I don't think most people with autism have any desire to really do that. Um, so the drama, that's gone. And also the fakeness that, that a lot of people have, uh, the, the, the pretend things that go on with dating. Most people with autism, they're pretty upfront, they're blunt, they, you know, which, I mean, the bluntness is a good and a bad thing, but they're not going to be fake. Most people with autism, you know, when they're not just in daily life, they're not fake, and I don't, and I think it's the same thing with dating, you know, same thing with me, you know, there's none of that. Um, another thing is that they do get very, um, people with autism, when they really enjoy something, they tend to want to find out everything about it, you know, and, and sometimes become an expert, so I can't really tell you this in regards to people with autism, but but you know, um, in bed, you know, they might be very exceptional because people with autism, when they really get into something, they want to be the best at it and they want to know everything about it. So, so if that is a concern, because um, I know some people are concerned about that, you know, they might be very exceptional. I know that a lot of people with autism are, are are virgins and things, but if you give them a chance, you know, they might um, blow away your expectations. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a little side there, but. Another thing is that people with autism tend to be very much into the, their loved one in ways that you cannot even imagine. You know, they can be a bit obsessive, but they, they'll notice the little things that no one has noticed. I mean, maybe you've dated guys or, or, or whatever, and, and, but the people with autism, they're going to notice the littlest things. I can give you some personal examples. Um, like my ex-girlfriend, like, like um, she loved this particular chocolate, and I saw that she liked it, so I bought her some of that. You know, um, also she was into these crystals, and so I, I got her crystals, and I think that kind of, you know, really surprised her, because, you know, it was a very subtle thing, you know, um, and there are many other examples I can provide, but, you know, just the littlest things, you know, like, like maybe she likes a particular TV show or whatever, and, and, you know, I paid attention to all that, I think people with autism, you know, they're going to notice every little thing, and, and you know they they might give you gifts or whatever you know but they're gonna know you you know they're gonna know the little things that the other people might otherwise not notice. Um, another thing is that most people with autism are very pure-hearted. You know they they are 
very understanding, honest, and another thing is that they will believe what you say, typically, I believe. And so, you know, please do not lie or manipulate someone of autism if you're dating them, because I think, you know, if they really love you, they, they can be easily lied to or manipulated, and that's, that's you know, please don't do that. Um, and they're also very patient. You know, they'll wait till the end of the world for you. Um, and whatever, I mean, most people with autism are very patient, and when they want something or they love something, they can wait a very long time. Another thing is, now how do we go about, so is, whether you're a guy or a girl or whatever, how do you go about dating someone with autism? First thing is that remember that people with autism can be very shy. So if you're a girl, I know that a lot, you know, that a lot of women believe that, that, that the man has to make the initiative. But let me tell you that if you feel in your heart that, that there's a connection with this guy, I urge you to be the one to make the initiative, you know, because, because, you know, they can't help it. They just cannot help it, and if you feel that attraction, you know, you might be shutting yourself off from the best guy in your entire life, or whatever. And the same thing applies for, for people of autism that are watching this video. If you have autism, sometimes you have to take a risk. I know it can be hard, and, and there's that fear of rejection, and, and it's the worst feeling in the entire world, you know, just even thinking about the contemplation of it. You know, it's better just to have someone stay a friend, or whatever, or... Or just to be where you are, you know, not even talk to the person. And, you know, sometimes you have to take that risk. Sometimes you do. Um, but yes, follow your heart. And another thing is that people often have a lot of anxiety, you know, especially in their initial stages or whatever. I mean, anxiety is very common. You just have to be accepting and understanding of that. And they seem really nervous on a date, I urge you to give them a chance, especially if you do feel a connection or whatever, because, you know, they can't help it, and it's not just that, you know, they're not, that anxiety there is, you know, a lot of different factors going on, and if you watch more of my videos, you can probably get an idea as to that. Um, another thing you have to do is realize that people with autism, you know, they need their space at times, you know, they need to, you know, be alone at times and, and just understand that they do love you, that they're not ignoring you or whatever. And, you know, at first they might have a lot of fears initially. And, you know, communicating can be a very, can might, might be a challenge at the initial stages, especially if they haven't dated much or had, or, or even haven't dated at all. You know, it could be a really big challenge for them, you know, to talk about things. Uh, and get them to open up. So you have to be patient, but in the long run, you know, you might find one of the most loyal people, one of the most, um, you know, someone that's going to give you all their heart and just do amazing, wonderful things for you and, and, and think the world of you if you give them a chance. So anyway, I thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's proved useful for you. Thank you, and I wish you a most wonderful day.